The polar coordinate system is based on a circular graph rather than the square grid of the Cartesian system. So I'm sure you're familiar with the rectangular coordinates and those lie on the square grids of the Cartesian plane. But the polar coordinate system is different because it's based on a circular graph. And so we would write rectangular format like this, x and y. But we write the polar coordinate system in this format, r and then theta. That's what we call that symbol right there. So r is the distance from the origin. And the origin is the center of the coordinate plane, where the x-axis crosses the y-axis. And so we can call that the radius. And so that's easy to remember because radius starts with r, and we're looking for variable r. Now, theta is the smallest positive angle in the counterclockwise direction made with the positive horizontal axis. That's a positive symbol right there. Now, if we have rectangular format and polar format, we have to have a way to convert between the two. And so to do that, to find polar format, we separate it into two equations. So first we look for r, which is the square root of x squared plus y squared. And then theta is the arctangent of y divided by x when x does not equal 0. Now, occasionally, x is going to equal 0. So we have some special rules for that scenario. When x equals 0 and y equals 0, then theta equals 0. When x equals 0 and y is less than 0, then theta equals pi divided by 2. And finally, when x equals 0 and y is less than 0, then theta equals 3 pi divided by 2. Now, if x is positive, use the positive square root value for r. And if x is negative, then use the negative square root value for r. Now, we have to be able to convert in the other direction, too. So if we have polar format, we have to have a way to convert to rectangular format. So again, we're going to do this by separating it into two separate equations. So first, we're looking for x, and we're going to find that by r cosine of theta, and then we'll find y by the r sine of theta. So that's a look at the rectangular and polar coordinate system.